Hey guys, so in this episode, we're basically just going to be creating our lobby game state class. Uh, this class will then be registered in our game class as a new game state. And I'm basically just going to do that for this episode. And I also explained to you why I didn't actually test the plugin uh, in the last episode. So yeah, let's get into it. So there was a comment on my most recent video, uh, you know, episode 1, and it was, Looney should test the plugin in the video. Now, basically, the reason why I didn't test the plugin in the video is because if I quickly open up my test server, you will see that it just spams with errors. The errors are basically saying that there's actually no game state uh, for it to even set it to, so it's confused. Um, it says next state, no such element, and that is because there's actually no next state in the iterator, um, in the game engine itself. Um, so you'll get that when you haven't actually set any game states. Uh, hence why I didn't test it. I should have probably said that it isn't going to work, but whatever I guess. So the first thing that we need to do inside of here is we will go ahead and create a new package. We'll call this game state. I'm going to go ahead and call the class lobby game state. Now this will simply just extends game state from the game engine. I mean you just want to go ahead and implement the methods uh, it will implement three things and then you will go ahead and implement again and that will implement the constructor and again you don't need to touch the uh, game state constructor. Now on state begin you want to return true and on state end you also want to return true again. Uh, so basically what it's saying the return true and return false is if it returns true, it should carry on. If it returns false, it should stop. So, for example, on state end, you could do, like, checking um, if there's an error. If there's an error, don't stop, shut down the server. If there's an error when it starts, shut down the server, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and the tick is basically a timer that happens every second. So this is where you would do your lobby timer, basically. Uh, but first thing we need to do is inside of game is we need to do game states dot add. And then new lobby game state. So it will ask us to put in some arguments. Now it was basically asking us to put into the game engine and the name, display name, etc. Now the game engine is just our core get instance dot get game, and then it will ask us to put in a raw name, a name, and then we can just do core get instance, and then that will fix it. So the raw name is when we do our checks. So if we check which game state is currently enabled, uh, we want to check the raw name. So this is just going to be called lobby state and then this will be like and b and l lobby um and, like, and a and then I don't know, something like that so it would be like something like that as like a prefix whenever it announces something i don't know uh what do you want to call it uh but yeah uh that is that that's that's how we basically register our game states so like if i was to go ahead and run the maven project now Right into my target and just brought this over to here. And if I actually went ahead and launched it right now. So you'll see that it doesn't actually error out anymore. And it looks like I've done this entirely wrong um, in game engine. So 0 0.4 will update this. So this won't actually uh, print the formatted name. No idea why it prints the formatted name. Um, I thought I fixed that, but obviously not. But as you can see, it says attempting to set the state to lobby state. And then it manages to change the uh, state to lobby state. Uh, so that means that it's managed to do it. It's found the game state. And then there's no more error. So now if you have listeners and stuff, you'd go ahead and put them in this class for the lobby game state. And stuff like that. So that is just going to be that tutorial of this tutorial. Um, because I was only showing you guys how to create a game state. Um, so yeah, that is it guys. The next episode will be doing... Uh, the, obviously when a player joins the server setting them into specific uh, teams using the team manager and yeah uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have please leave a rating as it really does help me out and I'll see you next time see you guys